What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So it wasn't long ago here, we got a pretty big GPU driver update from ASUS for the ROG Ally and Ally X. And while I haven't had any trouble on the original Ally with this, I've been having a lot of trouble on the Ally X. And I've noticed a lot of people that I've been talking to and people who are commenting are also having a lot of trouble with this driver in some games and especially with um, AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2, which was brought to the devices with this update. Now I covered this uh, update a couple of days ago a full video showing the updated OG Ally here on the 1115 driver and then the old August 23rd driver here on the Ally X right before I updated it. Now we're going to be able to roll back in this video and I'll show you that but I never am able to get back to this August Adrenaline app for some reason but we'll talk about that more when we get into the video. Now as far as using uh, Fluid Motion Frames 2 on the OG Ally or the AMD Overlay we're playing in the games. I didn't notice any real change in performance. This game doesn't run well, especially with the settings I had here. It was for something else. But I was testing AMD Flute with motion frames, and it was fine in that video as far as turning it on and off, not breaking the game, and working properly. However, over on the Ally X, no matter what game I really try to use this on, using the AMD overlay will often cause a bunch of glitching and, and problems and bugs where the game doesn't want to work, right? And trying to activate Fluid Motion Frames 2 will definitely cause trouble where it either doesn't want to activate or it takes forever or it just winds up breaking the overlays or breaking the game altogether. It's just been a clunky mess that doesn't want to work for me at all. And I notice a lot of people are having those kind of issues with the overlay and with Fluid Motion Frames as well. PoE is another one where performance without the overlay or um, motion frames on, it's fine. But as soon as I try to start doing the same thing, activating that overlay, it starts kicking on and off by itself, causing game stutter and getting in issues here trying to turn on fluid motion frames too and all that so and this was repeated over and over again in different games i would try and certain games people seem to notice worse performance as well there's a lot of comments on my video a few days ago about this update with people having performance issues with certain games uh saying not to update at all the af uh, mf2 is breaking things and causing stutters uh, and that type of thing. So I'll link to this video. I'll also link to all the websites you're going to need for the rollback and stuff like that here as well. But yeah, it's definitely seeming to be a fairly widespread thing. Not that you're being affected or noticing it in the games you're playing, but people playing newer games or trying AFMF2 or using the AMD overlay do seem to be having a lot of performance issues and stutters and problems with the driver and games in general, especially on the Ally X. But with all that out of the way, I do want to talk about what we're going to need to get into for preparation for rolling back. If you want to go to the older driver on their website and wait for an update for this one, and then we'll go through that process as well here. You're going to need whichever driver for your device. So they have the original Ally support site. Again, I'll put everything in the description um, for links to all this stuff if I can. But you're going to go, depending on which device you're using, the original White Ally or the newer Black Ally X, and go to the graphics here on the support page, and you'll see the older August 23rd driver for both of these devices there that you can download. They almost always have at least one driver back besides the new one uh, for problems like this where you can roll back. Same thing here, same dated August 23rd for the Ally X, which is the one I'm going to need because I'm concentrated on the X in this video. That's the one giving me trouble, but it's the same process for both. We're also going to use DDU to uninstall the graphics driver. You can do this in safe mode or not in safe mode. Typically, um, I'm going to show how to do safe mode here, though, and you might need your BitLocker recovery from aka.ms forward slash my recovery for your BitLocker, which usually is enabled on the Ally unless you've disabled it which will allow you to go get your key ID and recovery key you'll need to get into safe mode if you're doing this via safe mode the way I am here. And we'll talk about that more as I get through the process and we get started. Now a little bit more about the BitLocker. My Ally X BitLocker key didn't show up on my account at that website right away. So I actually had to go into my settings here and upload that. So go into search here and start typing BitLocker and you should see a thing here for manage BitLocker. And I'll bring this up a little closer and you'll have um, set up your recovery key or back up your recovery key right here on the right hand side. So if we click that, we'll have three options. We can save to our Microsoft account that we're logged into on this device, save to a file or print. So I uploaded that to my Microsoft account. I also saved a file. So I had that key easily available on another device as well for doing work on this thing. I'm always doing some kind of safe mode or recovering or something. So it's handy for me. However, I did do some disabling of that as well. Now in startup settings, you are gonna need like to be able to press with a keyboard for number four for the safe mode. I couldn't make a keyboard come up for anything. Same thing in BitLocker where you need to be able to hit enter and enter your key. 
I couldn't get the keyboard to come up at all. Maybe somebody has an idea for that, but I wound up just having to plug in and use my USB uh, wireless keyboard set. So that's what I did. I grabbed my hub and my uh, wireless uh, plug in there for my keyboard, which allowed me to do the rest of the work that I needed to do here. I couldn't find another way around that part of the recovery. With that, we're gonna be able to hit four on the keyboard to enter safe mode, but you might come up against another issue uh, that you might wanna be ready for as well. So you'll come up against this thing where it wants you to set up a pin or you can't log into safe mode even though you've gotten this far. And it can be kind of frustrating. Um, I had to figure this one out. Before you go into safe mode, you're gonna to wanna to go into your settings, your accounts, sign-in options, and then you're gonna see the forcing the hello sign-in right here. Check that off if it's on, and that should give you a password option to sign in the safe mode at that point. All right, so the other things we need to make sure we have, which we talked about already on the Allies, DDU, which I've already downloaded and have ready here for removing our graphics driver. And then I need the Ally X version of the, of the older GPU driver that we're going to use. I showed you that website earlier in the video. This is just it here on the Ally X, so I'm going to scroll down do the same thing I showed over there. We'll go to see all downloads here on the graphics driver and we can download the August 23rd order driver that we're gonna roll back to here. And then we'll get that downloaded. Okay, so we're fully prepared now and ready to do the process. So we're gonna go into Windows Update, Advanced Options. We're gonna go to Recovery, Advanced Startup and Restart. Okay, we have Choose an Option. We're gonna go to Troubleshoot. We're gonna go to Advanced Options, Startup, Settings and Restart. Once we do that, you're either going to do your BitLocker process or with your keyboard enabled here. And once you get through that, you'll get to the next step. Or if you don't have BitLocker and you're not encrypted, you're just going to skip past this. It's going to take you right to pressing four on the keyboard um, and going in the safe mode. So we'll press that here. And with number four press, it's going to go ahead and restart again and get us into safe mode. All right, I've logged in using my password and I'm able to do things now in safe mode and go ahead and remove the driver. Again, if you don't want to go through this process and you want to try DDU not in safe mode, just in your regular booted up device, it should work being it's just the AMD driver. But I've done so much here, I did want to go ahead, so much tinkering, I want to go ahead and do safe mode here. So I'm going to downloads. I'm going to extract that DDU folder we downloaded from uh, the site. You're going to see after that, we get an application up here. We're going to click on that and safe mode will ask you to run and then we're going to extract and that's going to make yet another folder. We're going to open up that folder and you'll see the application up here for the driver uninstaller. We're going to get that opened up here and click OK. I'll get this expanded here in one second. We got some options in here. I'm not really worried about ticking anything on these right now. We're not sideloading a driver or trying to stop updates or anything. All right. And now all we have to do is over here on the right, we're going to select our GPU. It's going to be on AMD. And then we can go to the top here where we're going to do a clean and restart. So it's going to take your, rid of all the drivers that we have on here for our GPU and then restart the device. And again, you wouldn't have to do this in the safe mode and go through all this extra work, but I've done so much tinkering and stuff with this. It can leave things behind sometimes if you're not in safe mode and give you issues. So you could wind up doing that and then having to go safe mode anyway to do this. So I'm just skipping right to that here, but it's a little bit more of a process, but it's a safer way to go through doing it. But once it's finished, it's going to go ahead and flip through and restart the device automatically. And then you're going to get back to your regular desktop. You won't be in safe mode anymore. And then once that restarts done, we are um, uninstalled on our driver. So I can double check that if I want to. There's no AMD software here anymore. If I search for device manager, we can bring that up here and it's probably going to or should say Microsoft display driver in our uh, display driver section here. Yeah, so we have Microsoft uh, basic display driver for our display here. So we're going to go ahead and go to our downloads where we downloaded the AMD or the driver off the ROG Ally X site or the ROG Ally. If you're on that, we're going to double click to open up the driver I can close down our downloads folder. Wait for this to open up. Click yes. Click OK. Next. Accept. And we're going to do install. This is going to go ahead and install this older driver from Asus. And again, this is actually the rollback worked fine for me. But what I'm going to show you is it the AMD Adrenaline app doesn't come back to August 23rd. It actually winds up a July version of that app. But anyways, once this gets through its process and does the install, we'll go ahead and do a restart here on the on the ally. Once that's finished, we're going to go into the Microsoft Store, make sure it's downloading 
the Adrenaline software. That should be something that's going to happen automatically. Mine failed the first time probably because of my internet connection coming on and off here or the uh, restart I did with the driver. But as soon as I did retry, I didn't have any problem with that going ahead and installing. I know some people have trouble with this in the store not showing up. If that happens, I'm not sure what to do about that. I've never had an issue with that showing up in the store for me and, and installing on the PC. But with that installed, we're able to open up the Adrenaline app now. We can skip the quick setup here and you'll see the version. Now we rolled back here and it was the August 23rd driver off the website, but the Adrenaline version we get now is 7-8-2024. So different from what we had prior to updating before. And I haven't been able to do anything else different there. And if we go into Armory Crate in our update center, it'll see now it wants us to update to that new driver, which I'm not gonna do right now, but that's the full rollback process. We are now on the older available driver officially available from asus on their website and back on the device here and this actually is working fine all of my games are back to running the way that they normally would and i'm not really having any issues with them performance is fine just like it was when it was dated 823 so maybe somebody has some better answers for that than i do but i've done this process three times now along with a factory reset and i get the same results every time but at least with this rollback Gaming performance is back to normal for me anyway here. And even if I want to use AMD's fluid motion frames, which is only gen one on this older driver, don't really like it. But the point is, unlike fluid motion frames too, if I go in here and I want to activate the overlay for AMD, it works just fine. It never stops or flickers or gives me trouble. And I can easily turn fluid motion frames on and off. No stutters in the game, no problems, nothing crashing or giving me issues like on the new driver. And I can easily turn that on and off. And it works very well for me in any game that I want. So that is all fixed. I have my game performance back. Fluid motion frames works again. I'm not getting any issues that I was getting with the new driver, but it really is a shame. And I hope we get an update from Asus soon on that driver because on the OG Ally, it's working fine for me. Fluid motion frames too is working fine. And I enjoy it. I like it a lot better than the first gen. I want that to be working here on the Ally X because it's a big deal to get these devices updated with the right GPU drivers. We've seen Lenovo suffer with that and other companies. So this update was a big deal, but to see it broken for myself and a lot of people on the Ally X specifically is kind of a bummer. So I wanted to make this video to cover the issues a little bit and give you an idea of how you could roll back to their older driver, maybe get your performance back while we wait for an update. But anyways, guys, hopefully the video helped you out. As always, thanks a lot for coming to watch. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.